Welcome to the Lippis Report. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Nick Lippis, and, uh, and welcome. Uh, we're talking to Brocade uh, in this section, and uh, we're talking to them about the product that they just tested here at iSimcidia uh, at the Lippis slash Ixia test suites. Um, and so joining me right now is Gontam Roy. So Gontam, why don't you just say a quick hi and, uh, and introduce yourself to the audience. Hey, Nick. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Always a pleasure. And so we've been um, uh, testing the VDX 67 uh, 30 dash uh, 32. So why don't we spend a little bit of time talking about that product and making sure that everyone's up to speed on this new topper rack switch uh, from um, Brocade. The Brocade VDX uh, 6730 data center switch uh, is a high performance uh, top of rack switch uh, which has uh, fiber channel, native fiber channel ports and LAN ports in the same form factor. So giving the flexibility to our customers to bridge between the SAN storage area network as well as into the uh, Ethernet fabric uh, LAN network. Uh, the VDX 6730 comes in two form factors as a 1U form factor and a 2U version. All right, great. So, um, so now let's spend a little bit of time talking about unique attributes um, that that this top of rack switch possesses, especially for highly virtualized cloud computing and also big data environments. So what are the unique attributes? So that's a great question, Nick. Uh, so with regards to Brocade's VDX uh, product, um, as you know, it comes with uh, the Ethernet fabric technology. The yeah, value of fabric is uh, it uh, provides a significant uh, cost savings, both in terms of CapEx as well as in terms of the uh, tangible OpEx. Uh, there's features like uh, Brocade ISL trunk, which provide you literally 90 to 95 percent of uh, throughput across the trunk group, as well as uh, reduce the total number of hops in the network say, uh, by 2x, uh, significantly uh, reducing latency, essentially supporting a build-as-you-grow model. All right, excellent. Uh, let's let's uh, expand the discussion a little bit uh, from boxes uh, towards really architecture. So, uh, what type of network architecture does um, Brocade? I recommend. So uh, again, a great question. So from our perspective, uh, we give 100% uh, flexibility to our customers um, to pick and choose the architecture that they need. So Brocade's uh, VCS uh, fabric uh, concept allows customers to build a network and architecture, uh, which is either uh, a three-tier architecture or a two-tier architecture, or e even a flat network. Uh, supporting your east-west traffic. You can build a full mesh if you need for ultra-low latency as well as uh, um, uh, uh, for networks wherein you don't want oversubscription, or you can actually build oversubscription in your network depending on, on your specific needs. Okay, great. Now, there, there's a, a key point that um, is uh, very important to the industry right now, and that is how do we uh, eliminate spanning tree within our data centers to interconnect switches together? So what is the spanning tree protocol replacement option that Brocade is implementing uh, for companies to build these fat tree architectures that are have characteristics of non-blocking and low latency based kinds of fabrics? So again, uh, Brocade was the first vendor to roll out uh, Ethernet fabric uh, technology through VCS fabrics, uh, so we can eliminate spanning tree in your network. Uh, we do that by stand, uh, implementing standard protocols like Trill in, into the fabric. We have specific uh, unique uh, characteristics um, that we embed in uh, ASICs to give you the maximum performance and throughput across all these uh, ISL trunks that, that you have deployed in your network. Also, we support uh, a zero-touch operation in which you don't need even need a single CLI command uh, to set up the trunk ports. So again, a significant differentiator versus the other competing uh, fabric vendors with regards to how the networks are built and set up, totally eliminating uh, human error uh, and, and providing a great value to our, to our customers. Great. Uh, excellent, Guantam. And, uh, and uh, thank you all for, for plugging in. That concludes uh, this video podcast. Uh, we've been talking about Brocade um, and their new top of rack switch that's been tested here at the ISOM City Labs. Uh, look forward to the report soon and uh, hope to see you all um, during the next uh, testing session would hap which occurs in the uh, springtime of 2012. Thank you, everyone. That concludes this edition of the Lippus Report. Thank you for joining us.